Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm gonna be talking about Backrooms Level 69. Oh, funny number. Hopefully this sounds cool to you. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Now we might be at 50,000 subscribers when this video goes up. I don't know, I'm pre-recording it, so if we're there, thank you all so much, genuinely. I have so much planned for this. It's gonna be awesome. Brugly merch is gonna be dropping soon. There's gonna be a Brugly SMP that I'm starting for anyone to join if they want to. More information on all this stuff at the end of the video. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get into the video. Level 69 looks like a dark and empty infinite highway that has fog rolling at all times. Each side of the highway has massive concrete walls that seem to be infinite in height. And there's literally nothing else here. Like, that's it. The level is apparently so dangerous that you have to stay in the car when you spawn in. When you spawn in on this level, you'll spawn in in the car that you passed out in, in level 3 to get here. That's the entrance to this level, more on that later. But if you stay in this car, you'll pretty much be safe. But if you leave the car, it's dangerous. Level 69 has a very low visibility because of the fog and the darkness that's on the level since it's constantly nighttime. In order to see anything at all, you have to use either the headlights from the car or a flashlight or something. This level is pretty unique because there are specific ways that you need to navigate it. And the start of the level is pretty much the same for everyone across the board because you wake up in the car that you passed out in from level 3. Even if you somehow get here without passing out in a car on level 3, you'll still wake up inside of a random car whenever you enter the level but whatever you do like i said do not leave the car since you know it's dangerous and stuff the fog and the entities that live here seem to be kind of scared of cars except for one entity so it's pretty much a good way to scare off things if you just stay in your car and keep driving now your car itself might have broken glass or broken ac or something like that it's really just depending on the look of the person there so if you have bad luck, then you might have car problems, and if you have good luck, you won't. Driving this car physically is pretty much just like driving a car from real life, so you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. You also don't have to worry about running out of gas, because these cars don't even have fuel tanks. Nice! So you can go full speed for as long as you want, since there's really nothing in the road, and you can just fly down the road at max speed. But there is always a risk of crashing into an entity or something like that. So pretty much you can either drive slow and waste a bunch of time, or you can drive really fast with a chance of perishing. So pick your poison. There are also hardly any supplies on this level, so the goal is to leave as soon as possible so you don't starve. The main normal entities here are Smilers and Wretches, which are extremely hostile on this level because they don't have anything else to eat. So when they see you, they, you know, they start drooling and get really aggressive. Wretches are considered to be extremely dangerous here because they can break into your car if you're parked or something like that, or if you crash into one, it could cause your car to fly out the road into the concrete wall. Just just try to avoid them. Like imagine sitting in your car and trying to take a nap and then you wake up and see one of these things. Nice. Now this level also has a level exclusive entity called the beans from above. These are very mysterious and dangerous and they're pretty much one of the main reasons if not the main reason that you should not get out of your car. Their exact body description isn't known but their legs or arms look like spider legs or crab legs. You can't see them from the ground, obviously, because you'll be in a car. But if you were to get out of your car, a leg might fly down from above and spear right through you, and then pick you up and carry you up into the darkness. It's kind of like that thing from King Kong, if you've seen that movie. There's only been a handful of survivors from an attack, and they say that the legs feel cold, slick, and completely solid. Oh yeah, and these entities literally cannot be taken down at all. People have tried bullets, explosions, knives, nothing works on them, so. This level also has a weird phenomena that happens called the Whispers. Now this might be an entity or just a weird occurrence that happens here, but pretty much there are these negative thoughts that go through your brain while you're on the level and they try to break down your mental health. So watch out for that, I guess. The easiest and most common way to enter this level is to pass out in a car on level 3 and you'll just wake up here. To exit the level, it's pretty simple. You just have to drive really far on the road and eventually you run across a tunnel that's carved into one of the sides of the concrete walls. Now you want to make sure you're either on the right or left side of the road because if you're in the middle, there's a chance you might miss this tunnel and you don't want to do that, trust me. So once you find the tunnel, just drive through it and you can only drive there for exactly 17 hours because then and at that point, your car will break down and stop working. 
After it stops working, you just have to get out and you have to walk through the rest of the length of the tunnel. But don't worry though, the tunnel's safe. There's no fog or no entities or anything like that. Just a normal tunnel. And this tunnel will lead to level 11. So it's pretty much worth it. There's also one unconfirmed exit as well. Some people have said that if you pass out while being attacked by a being from above, that you'll wake up in level zero. But I'm not gonna stick around and try to test that theory. So yeah, you got an infinite highway with huge concrete walls on each side and giant spider legs that come down from the sky to attack you. Love to see it. That's it for the video, I hope you enjoyed it. This was my first video back after being gone on vacation for like the entire month of December. So it's good to be back home and making new videos for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we've either hit or are about to hit 50k subs. I can't tell yet because I pre-recorded this video, which is just insane. Thank you, thank you all so much for all you do for me. You guys are just awesome and we're going so fast and this year's going to be awesome. I hope you guys are ready for all the stuff coming out. The goal is to hit 100k this year, so I hope you're ready to see that happen. I believe in it. Like I said earlier, I'm going to be releasing Brugly merch soon for 50k. Stay tuned for that. I'm going to be releasing the designs on here, and you guys are going to get to vote on which ones you want, and then you'll be able to get them. That's going to be awesome. And then I'm also in the works right now with creating a Brugly survival SMP on Minecraft. So that's going to be over there on Toogly, but I'm going to announce it on here, obviously. It's going to be awesome. Anyone who wants to join can join. It's going to be a fun time. I'm going to stream it. I'm going to record it. Lots of good stuff coming on there. I'll officially announce the server when it's up and running, but until then, get ready for it. It's going to be awesome. Mid-January is the goal, like the 20th or something. Stick around for that. But with all that said, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you later.